Hello, my fellow Bakugan battling brawlers. Uh, so in this video, we'll be opening up this monstrosity of a thing right here. The Dragonoid uh, Infinity. Um, the one thing you might see here on the box is the price. Uh, $59.99. That is only in the Indigo stores. Um, Toys R Us has them for $49.99. Uh, the reason I got this one is because I pretty much got it for around $27 off at my Indigo because of uh, certain like promotions they had going on and other things that made me drop the price to like $27 off of this. So that's mainly why. <laughs> that's pretty much why I got it. I was going to wait for the Toys R Us 20% uh, off sale, but I ended up getting uh, like I had 10% off for a rewards card and then another $20 off in points. So I end up getting this thing. Uh, here's the top of it there. Looks cool. This golden sword, even though it's like a clear black plastic for us, unfortunately. It's kind of, it's kind of sucky. Anywho, uh, this is a new, uh, big dragonoid, uh, type guy. Uh, the last one we had was this Dragonoid Maximus right here. Uh, now we have a new guy right here. Um, it is pretty big. I have to have the camera pretty, pretty well back just to get the whole thing in frame. Um, so on the front here, as you can see, uh, we have the big guy. He has like a shield, a sword thing, and like combined together. Baku, Baku gear there. No, no, Baku cores. Uh, here's our uh, exclusive Dragonoid uh, Xylitor Ultra, back we've gone there. And on the box here, uh, it shows, you know, you put all, what is it, six? Six back we've gone into him, uh, or five, five, or five, all five, um, into him. Um, I know that one there, it would be the Dragonoid Xylitor here, and then there's these ones. Um, someone let me know in the comments what those Bakugan are, or if they're just random ones. Here's a better one there, better view of it. Bakugan inserts into arms, legs, and inside chest. Alrighty. And here we look at the back. Uh, power up Dragonoid Infinity. Launch Bakugan into battle. Uh, infinite ways to play. That's a uh, pretty cool artwork app and all that so let's see on the oh my goodness so right here uh let's see includes dragonoid infinity mega figure one bakugan ultra 10 pieces of baku gear uh two baku cores three ability cards one character card and one instruction sheet all righty be the bottom bottom of the box if anyone wants uh this this thing there you go ignore the ignore the price i got mine for cheaper than that and smart device not required for enhanced experience please use a compatible smart device not required for enhanced experience please use a compatible ios or android device to play chicken belly was in heck is that for the app i'm guessing that would maybe be for the app or something i don't know why the heck they have that down there that doesn't make sense. But any questions, concerns, or comments, you call those numbers right there, provided what area you live in. Um, yeah, this is probably going to take me a while uh, to get out of his plastic uh, prison, so I'll just skip that part for you guys. Alrighty then. Now he is out of the packaging. Uh, here he is. Um, just for fun, I did time myself getting him out. It took me almost about four minutes just to get him out of his packaging. Uh, in the comments, let me know how long it took you guys out if you know if you ended up getting him or not. Um, yeah, so here is the guy. Um, for information, um, his wings do come detached, uh, like, uh, to the back of the box. They come, you know, tied down to the back of the box. He comes in a thing of plastic. Um... So yeah, first things first, let's go ahead and look at the cards and instruction sheet here. Get the tape. Get the tape off. Let's got to tape everything up. 
like it wasn't difficult enough to take this out of the box. Oh, well, there you go, I ended up ripping a hole in it. Okay, so there's the instruction sheet. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, where did the rest of the cards go? Here are four cards. Is that it? No, did I drop some? What did what the what did the box say? Uh, Bakugan Ultra. Ten pieces of Baku gear. Two Baku cards. Three ability cards. One character card. All right, there's the character card. Uh, three ability cards, and that's pretty much it. Ten pieces of Baku gear. Okay. Um, ten pieces of Baku gear, yet no Baku gear card. Well, there's three Baku gear cards, I suppose, right there. Uh, so let's take a look at these. Alrighty. Uh, so here we have the Dragonoid Auxilator Ultra. Um... This is my first, this is my first, yeah, this is my first Fusion Bakugan opening, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's see, he has, uh, base has, uh, two fire, so two fire fist cores, base speed power is 800, base damage is 1, uh, and for 8, for 8 energy to fuse him, uh, which would be to the Pyrus and Oralus Dragon Ward Auxilator, uh, so two flaming fire fists. Uh, base B power becomes 2,000 and base damage becomes 5. That's, that's a nice base B power. And then for that, for which most, the biggest Baku, um, flaming fist is, uh, 250, 253. So, eh. Alright. Not, not the worst. But, uh, for an 8 cost, then I don't know. Uh, let's see here. We have Destroyer for the uh, first back of gear. For seven energy. Jeez. Uh, so Victor, draw one card. I'm guessing that's what that is. Uh, and then you also get uh, regular is two Frost and Shadow Strike, which isn't too bad. And plus uh, 900 V power uh, and plus nine damage. Now, this is a pretty good one, high cost, although there are core reducing things, so that's not too bad. Uh, let's see, Oralis Drillers. Uh, for 4 energy, Ventus Oralis, plus 500 B power, plus 3 damage, eh, that's okay. Uh, Oralis Sabres. Oh. Sabres of Aquas and Oralis, 3 energy. Uh, Victor, you draw a card, and then it just gets 201. Uh, for three, for two, I mean, meh. It's not really the best thing. If anything, this is good just because it has so much going on. Like Shadow Strike and Tough and Frost. Like, geez. Well, I don't know. Tell me which one, uh, which is the best. I would, I don't have an Orla. I don't run an Orla's Bakugan right now or a Pyrus. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about running some sort of, uh, um, Fury damage thing. I don't know. Anywho, those are the cards. Those are the cards it comes with. For those who don't know, that's the fusion there. Um, yeah. Alrighty. So, uh, let's go ahead and look at the, now, the Baku cores. Uh, fusion. I'm guessing, I really have no idea with F. I'm guessing it stands for fusion. We don't have Fusion Force cards here in Canada. We only have the stupid Battle Brawlers. So, uh, so plus eight damage, and then uh, three. And if, I guess if for Fusion Bakugan, it's an extra four, or is it just four? I don't know. Let me know how this one works. If it's fused, does it get seven, or is it just four? Let me know in the comments uh, below because I'm not really sure on that. And those are the Baku Gear cores it comes with. Not Baku Gear, just Baku cores. Yeah, that's down for now. Take a look at the Dragonoid Auxilator himself. Alrighty, has weird. I don't know. I'm not really a huge fan of these these wings right here, just because they look looks kind of weird. This back piece, like all the Dragonoid Ultras have, you kind of have to get used to that at this point. Now his horn. Come on, can I bring his horn up? Yeah, with a little bit of force. Ah, there we go. There's his horn. 
I'm up there, 800 B power. It's decent. Um, I don't know, that's pretty much it for that. His arms can go up and down. That's pretty much it for his articulation. Put them to the side for now. Let's take a look at this. This thing. So he's got two here. In my opinion, they should have put one on his back, but he got two there for interesting combinations. Let's see if I can... Can I take this thing apart? Because this can split. I don't know how these works. Let's take a look at the uh, instruction sheet for more information on this guy. Does it have instructions? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, first let's just figure out how to close uh, the Dragonoid Bakugan. Uh, so I'll make sure, yeah, the manual parts being his horn and arms are down. Uh, so legs, tail, wings. Uh, yeah, let's see, the front, middle wings. The middle part comes down of the wings and then front and back. And then you bring the little clipping thing down. So let me see if I can figure this out. So his arms are down, his horn. All right, so then his legs, I'm trying to figure out his legs here. His legs come up like this. Tail, just have tail, but no tail, just wraps. Tail wraps around like that. Then you bring. Okay, then you gotta bring these down, holding on to that. Uh, his back feet may, they do have to kind of slip under the wings there, so just watch on, watch on that. Uh, then what, the front? Or, or just have this open, then bring, bring these down. I'm really, because he's trying to tell me to do so many steps, or certain steps before others, and then it's not really working out, I mean... Let me, let me, let me try this again, because I'm kind of struggling with this. Alright, so, feet, feet, no, feet, oh my god, I hate the feet, the feet, tail, tail wraps around over the head, all right, all right, bring these. Bring these pieces down. Okay, so far so good. And then these have to come in. Somehow, they kind of have to come outwards or whatever. And there we go, okay. Uh, it's kind of confusing, but you kind of have to struggle with the wings. It kind of has to come in and out when he opens. I'll leave him closed for now. When he opens up again, then I'll figure. I'll show that again later. Um, now let's take a look at the instructions. Uh, you know what, we'll just show... I was trying to look at this now. Okay, apparently you can attach a bunch of back gear onto him, and I'll show that later. For now, let's just look at this guy. Uh, so the wings. So let's turn him around. Okay. Um, how do I bring this? How in the heck? Oh, okay, well that did, that did something. I don't know what I just did there. All right, okay, I'm trying to figure out how to bring his tail down, or is it just a manual? How do I bring his tail? It doesn't show you how to bring the tail down, does it? No, it does not. That is quite, quite unfortunate. Okay, I think you just, okay, the tail, it's like kind of stuck up there. You just have to pull it down pretty much. All righty, so the wings. We can just clip on to uh, the back there with uh, a bit of force. 
and you don't drop it and there they go the deck is once again because i don't know uh, there we go all right let me put uh, don't fall over don't fall over no don't fall over 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 okay good um there he is there we go he has his wings on he's ready to fly all right now let's uh what does it show on the instructions uh yeah put wings in oh it shows you how to fold them up okay um okay let's turn them around turn them around there step one attach wings good done oh wait this his uh this has to be done, okay. So flip, there's a switch here. You flip that, and then it then makes his head go back. Oh no, I did. Well, those locked into place there, I guess, okay. That's supposed to happen. These, these are down, okay. Um, yep. Okay, it's showing here to load his arms. Have his arms forward. Yeah. And load. Bakugan not included. Well, no, no duh. No duh, they're not included. And which Bakugan, uh, if anybody knows which of the four uh, Bakugan that it shows on the artwork here. Uh, please let me know in the comments because I don't know and I want them just for the sake of having them. But probably won't get them for a while because here in Canada, we are still waiting on wave seven slash eight of Battle Planet. Um, we did get some wave eight of the, uh, the three packs, but that's pretty much it. Uh, everything else was still waiting on those. So eh, we're maybe we'll get them, maybe we don't, who the heck knows. Anywho, um, so load him up with Bakugan. I don't think that really, that really matters. No, that doesn't matter. Just for aesthetics. Okay, so we're not going to we're not going to fill those holes with Bakugan because meh. Um, so what we all oh, what we want to do, I guess. We have Dragonoid here. Right, it's going to put. Okay, I'll put Dragonoid and what in here? Alright, is that what is that what we do? We put Dragonoid in his chest and then we just flip it. Oh then we roll him out. Okay. Well Dragonoid is in the chest and we flip the switch. Oh, that was cool. He did open up on on these things. Let's, you know what, let me get this out. Just put some booster packs there just to, just to stop him. Let's do that again. Again, closing him. Uh, you want to have the feet come up. And do you really want to make sure where your hands are in this? So feet, tail. Comes up, push the head down. Make sure, yeah, make sure the arms are in, that's key. Uh-huh. Then push, push, kind of push down on the wings there. Yeah, no, 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 there we go, okay. It's a real struggle with, his, and his foot's up, and his foot is up. Oh my goodness me. You know what, this is the second worst Bakugan closing aside from uh, Fair, uh, what's, what's it, Phaedrus Ultra. That's like the worst Bakugan to close. So this, it may not look like it can come down, but you just gotta slide that over. And the, these just come down, and then this goes over that. Now how in the heck did I have it uh, originally? I just put it in there. And then switch. That's not why I wanted to do it, but you know what? Oh well. <laughs> We're just gonna 
And I'll leave it like that for now, I guess. Ugh. It doesn't really have that much articulation in the arms, really, and it's kind of sad. His hands can turn. That's all right, he can hold. You know what, let me go look at the instructions to see how we attach said back of gear. Uh, so, so sword goes in his right hand. We have a peg into the hole there. Kinda, kinda hard right there. Yeah, with some force, there you go. Uh, and then the shield here into his other hand. Just some force. You can do it. Eh, good enough. And uh, there you go. Now he's ready to brawl. Arrgh. And then I guess, I don't know. Okay, well, uh, you know what? That's pretty much it for the, for doesn't have any lights or sounds like this guy. That's that's all right with me, I suppose. Um, if we did have the other Bakugan that are shown in the picture, I would keep them in here, but I don't have them, nor do I really know what they are, so meh. Or what waves they come in, or if they're even released. Or even if anybody knows what they are. I don't know. In the comments, let me know what those Bakugan are, because I have no idea myself. Uh, so now let's take a look at these supposed 10 pieces of Baku gear. And we're going to take these two Dekas and just toss them aside because I'm fed up with them. Um, Alright, so let's take out the Baku gear here. Uh, now I don't know how to display this figure now. Let's just have his back. I guess what? Just put them, come on, there, and the tail comes up. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, eh. His head, there his head goes like that, and then the tail comes up like there, okay. So then, put him up here, stand him on his brother, there we go, just stand him up there, there you go, and then, haha, -ha. alright, you know what, there we go, that's how, that's how, that's how you do it, that's how you do it, it's just a pedestal for the diamond, okay, um, all right, well, okay, let's take further inspection on this guy and how to apply these uh, supposed two pieces to uh, turn into 10 Baku gear. So let's go ahead uh, with the instructions. Uh, okay, here we go, right? No, it just tells you how to assemble them or disassemble them. Um, so with this, Start with this one. Let's see if we can take it. Oh, well, there's okay. There's this piece. I'm guessing that counts as one. I really have no idea. Oh, okay. Let's see, you gotta wiggle. Oh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right. This is the. All right. Ah, okay. That that's how that goes. All right. Um, these guys. Let's just take detach those. Now with the sword here. Apparently, you want to take that apart. Take this apart. 
Uh, this is one solid piece, and these two just detach like so. Uh, all right. So now those are all uh, detached. Let's see how we put him. Oh, wait, there's more. Now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Boop, do, 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 do. Uh huh. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just reading these. What? Okay. Uh, if anybody knows what these ba Bakugan not included. If anyone knows what these two Bakugan are, uh, leave it, leave me, let me know in the comments because apparently they get back who you get, um, some of this back who you can go on them. Or if they're, I don't know what those are. I really have no idea what those are because we don't, <laughs> I don't have any other fusions right now except for this guy and then the, the ones in the clips and that's pretty much all I have right now. Um... Okay, well, well, uh, for Drago here, uh, what it shows in the picture is to take this one, place it right there, um, and then we take a sword part, and uh, apparently it goes, I don't know, through his arms or something. Just... I don't know what it just what it just kind of rest. Oh, okay. There's uh there's two pegs, two if you can see it. There's two small pegs on the sides of the sword, and there's the peg holes there. What you want to do is just slide those into there. Yeah, it kind of has to just rest on those. Not really much going on. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for this guy in his Baku gear. Uh, whatever heck pieces those are, uh, from where, where are the cards? Here are the cards. I'm guessing the Destroyer, Orlis, and Orlis, Orlis Sabres. So Orlis Sabres, and I'm guessing it's the Destroyer, are those two Baku gear. Uh, in the comments, let me know. It could easily just be the blasters. I don't really have no idea. I have no idea. If anyone knows the names for these things. Because... Because I don't know. Oh, and there's some crazy combination. Well, that's pretty much it for Baku gear uh, attached to this guy. That's really it is. You can have many other combos. You don't have to... I mean, you can guess have this on... And then, you know, you can just easily, you know, attach any other piece like that can go there and blah, 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 blah. Um, sky's the limit with all the different Baku gears. Now, if we take a look at, uh, I just want to take a second look at this guy here. Um, And he's not, the switch isn't working. Maybe his, the tail has to be down. And, oh, uh, did I, did I, did I, did I break it? Did I break it? I don't know if I broke it or not. Oh no, it dodged all, this is all manual. That's all manual, the, that's for that, the, I'm stupid. Oh, <sighs> can his mouth move? Not really. I mean, it has the, thing but it doesn't no his mouth doesn't move he has a rubber horn okay and that's not in frame i just realized that uh yeah no mouth mouth moves little to none um anywho sorry for me just keep on rambling on this long it is longer than i would like it to be but anywho let's take a look again at this guy right he is all up and at him uh, like so, I'm just looking at the pictures here. Uh, then we need this piece, right? Attach it to here. And I dropped it. Okay. So attach it. Okay. 
make it a hole like that. Okay, and I, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now we are looking for this piece. These pieces, we put them in. Wait, did I do that right? I don't know if I did that right. Oh wait, this has to come down, okay. Then they go into the holes here. And here. Okay, uh, next we take these guys. Take these guys and we put them in, put them in here. No, yes, no. There, I'm trying to look at where to put. Oh no, we take these pieces next. And we put them in here. I'm just trying to make sure this is all lined up right here. And here. I don't know if that's right or not, but oh well. Um, now, three to four. Now we take these pieces. and get confused with them. Because it's showing. All right, I'll put them in down. Is it upwards or downwards we're putting them in? Because now I'm just confused. Yep, peg and Sorry, I'm just, they're just because they put them in like that, but they don't want to fit. So I'm just trying to look at this instruction piece here. Oh, I see it now. You put them in this. Put them in this part, not the peg, but this part right there. That's what I, that's what it was. Okay, and that's that's the wrong piece. Put it in here like that. There. Focus. There you go. Alrighty. Um, now you take your final pieces, and with the peg side in, you put them. Bring it up. Oh yeah, these are the cannons, okay. These are the, from the, uh, okay, I figured it out. From the cards, uh, they, these are, these, these, these are their drillers because it looks the most like a gun or something. And then the blades were the swords attached to here, and then this, I think, was the back piece. I don't know. Uh, in the comments, let me know if that's right or if it's any of the other pieces. Well, we got this monstrosity of a cannon thing, which is pretty much, I guess, all the pieces. Ah, it's, it's loose. I hate that. That's loose on mine. That sucks. Anywho, um, we take this. Just bring this around. And we just put it right up. All right, attach it to his neck. The hole in the back. There's a hole in the back of the neck. And we put that in. And I pretty much. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. So if you don't want him having a sword or a shield, he has his guns. His big, his big cannon. Cannon gun, I suppose. Um, another question here. If we go like in the back, back a dragonoid. There. I want to like some horn guns or something. This piece, oh, they're all kind of loose. Maybe this one. This one needs force. This this piece on mine is a bit loose there. Uh, let me know if that's like that on all of them or if it's just mine. Because see that one. 
it moves the whole piece. This one I move it just does that. And again, that fell off. Anywho, uh, now let me struggle take this out and try to figure out how the heck I put this back into the sword and shield. Um, let me see here. So this comes down. Uh, let's just assemble all the pieces. And you know what? I might as well. These are these are instructions you're going to need to keep, uh, just so you remember how to put everything back together again. Let's put the, these pieces together like so. Um, and then I guess attach them onto here like that. And we want to take these guys and then we're going to put them on there. And there we have um, the sword. How am I going to keep uh, you know what? Let me let me figure this out. So this comes back. This come. This will come down. I'm trying to. I'm. Just, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to figure out how to store him at the moment. Uh, so we gotta have his, his wings. Yes. His tail. His you know, his head goes in like that. His tail comes up like this. Uh, moving on to Drago here. Again, uh, we gotta make sure his feet go up, tail around, wings come down, and make sure that the feet. You're gonna have to really do those very carefully with the feet there. And then now it's kind of easy. These find the place and then the back parts go there and then easy peasy one, two, three. Easy. So then this just goes in him. Oh no, it pops out like that. You know, for now, we're gonna put him right here in the arm just, uh, just because, or can I, or I can just, I can just keep him like that. I want to keep him like that for now. No, yes, no, maybe. Uh, I'll keep him like that for now. If I push, yeah, yeah, okay, I can, I can keep him and it's not focused. I can keep him like that. Uh, okay, continuing on with, uh, the shield. I'm not, I'm, I'm just going off of memory on how to do this. I'm not looking at the instructions right now. Uh, even though I should with the shield. I know these two were kind of, right? These were stuck together on top of each other and then like put into there, these. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. I don't think I am, no. Yeah, let's try it the other way. There, yeah, that looks, that looks more like that's supposed to, like that, yeah. I didn't have to look at the destruction part for this. Sword was easy, shield is a little bit harder. Yeah, so this goes like that. And then the other pieces, make sure they have yeah, room there, like that. These are a little bit more of a force struggle. There we go. There's the, the shield there. Alrighty then. Um, yeah, so then I guess I'll have... You know, I'm going to have to force, uh, force these up. Fit. Sword. I feel like why does this seem backwards to me? But yeah, fit. Hmm. Upside down. There we go. Okay. Fit. All your forest might. 
fit this into here. This is the shield is really hard to get in there, in my opinion, because it's really stupid. Uh, oh, let me know if you're struggling with the shield, because I for sure as heck am. Okay, there. Oh, that's too far back. Oh. All right. Well. That is like that. We'll just sit them on top. And then we'll balance this on his head. Oh, come on, I worked earlier, but I think that's because of all the. That's because this was like that. Oh, no, this is oh, easy. I can have him put this upside down, put him, boom, there we go. And that is how you do that. Um, I don't think, uh, no, he's not part of this checklist I have. Oh, this is all um, like base stuff. Maybe he's in with the fusion, fusion whatnot. Anywho. Um, Finish it. Keep these instructions. You may need them in the future. Um, here again are the cards he comes with. Destroyer. Focus. There you go. The destroyer. Oralis uh, drillers. And Oralis uh, Sabres. All right. Before we end off the video entirely, time for... Whoop. Knocked the cord there. Time for the end of the video. Uh, booster pack. Also here are the back, of course. He comes with the eight for the fusion. Oh, actually, let's just see how he rules... Um, for those who want to know the best way to roll this Dragonoid if you ended up using him, uh, let's go ahead and try rolling him out real quick. Before I forget, and he's going to knock into Maximus right there, but that is okay. There we go, he opened up like that. Now let's see how quickly I can, uh, do this without messing up. One side. Let's see the other side. There we go. Quick, nice and quick. Uh, so the way arrow shows you to do it as well. Uh, now let's do it the opposite side. All right, line that up. All right, he'll still pick up the back uh, that if you do it backwards. Um. I'm still working, apologize for this clunky guy right here. I'm still figuring out a setup um, of how to display everything. I have like no shelving units whatsoever. So once I have shelving in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do everything differently. And the, this, this clunky guy isn't gonna be in the back anymore. Uh, but that's not gonna be for quite some time now. Um, yeah, just real quick, doing it on uh, his uh, side roll. Okay, pretty much no matter how how you ended up rolling him, he is going to end up uh er, no matter how you roll him on the back of core, he's pretty much gonna pick him up pick it up all the time. That's pretty cool, in my opinion. Even though I only rolled him like three, four times. Uh but yeah. Now before we do end off the whole entire video completely, let's open up our end of uh, video booster pack. And it is a Dragonoid one from Battle Brawlers because here in Canada, all we have is Battle Brawlers. We do not yet have any uh, Resurgence, Age of Orlis, Armored Elite, Fusion Force. We have none of those cards. Why? I have no idea. Anywho, uh, let's see. Shade Blade, Cycling Warmth, Light Break, Shadow Hue, Tide. 
Lights Courage. Uh, Bubble Net as our first rare. Uh, we have Shadow Coil as our second rare. Uh, we have Aquas Titan Gargonoid Ultra as a super rare. And then, oh, we have him <laughs> as the Hex as well. Now that is uh, Freaky Deaky. That's pretty interesting. If you, all right then, that's that's pretty cool. We got the regular one and then we got the hex right behind it. Anywho, those are gonna fall over. If you enjoyed this video of the Dragonoid uh, Infinity, uh, make sure to leave a like down below. Um, even though I have no, yeah, there's a like button um, under the video there. Um, around there somewhere, I don't know. Uh, leave a comment down below if you picked up, if you picked up this guy um if you if you having fun with him i can pretty much have a whole heck of a lot of fun with him although i'm just going to leave him on the shelf for now uh just because i don't want to yeah. <laughs> i'm pretty much only move him to move things out of the way um i have him i have displays like this because i don't know i'm rambling on anywho uh, if you enjoy this video, um, leave a like, comment, thoughts on him down below. Um, share, subscribe, and turn that bell notification on so you know when my next video will be up. Um, that pretty much covers it. So until next time, brawler, stay safe, practice your rules, uh, wear a mask, wash your hands, and see ya.